Tell me, Mr. Neil, is it us? Oh, you're having to keep the price tags pristine on your suitcase? Ah! What is the meaning of this? Why would you lie about a suitcase? Despite having faith in her design sense, the sales numbers made her cry bitter tears. The truth is becoming sincerely clear to me. Mr. Neil, I think I understand. I know what you are trying to hide. Now then, the suitcase is origi originally in the flight attendance room, the in-flight shop, or first class. It was originally in the in-flight shop. Seeing as how the price tag is still on the suitcase, well, I can only assume it was out on the, f the floor for sale in the shop. And the person who bought the suitcase was... Yourself. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Tenryo? I hate to say this, but this suitcase that you designed, it hasn't sold very well, has it? You saw, you saw how poorly this design, this design that you poured your heart into was selling, and were deeply hurt. That's why you wanted to make it look like it was selling by buying it yourself. Isn't that right? Then the reason you went to the shop and came back here was, I I'm sorry. All I really have is my job. I I was overjoyed when my design was chosen. I thought that maybe, maybe I'd finally accomplish something. But the suitcase didn't so. It's because of the design, isn't it? All because it, as you put it, hideous. I can't say they chose a great place in which to sell them either. We weren't selling a single one and they just were just sitting there collecting dust. I felt so bad seeing them there day in day out, so I decided to buy one for every flight I worked. You buy one every single time you work as a flight? I see, so in order to keep your resolution, you went and bought one today as well. Yes, here's my receipt for that purchase. Hmm? This receipt is clearly timestamped. 5.40 a.m. Suitcase received data jotted down on my organizer. The truth is there's still a bunch of them left unsold. They're planning to scrap the remaining ones at the end of this flight. Mr. Tunio, where are these other suitcases? They should all be down in the cargo hold. And the suitcases the killer used could very well have come from the cargo hold. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? You don't think that the killer used one of my suitcases to- Yes, I do. The killer used one of your beloved suitcases to move the victim's body. Ah! How could they- Those suitcases were meant to be faithful partners to our passengers on their trips. That's all I ever wished for them to be. Mr. Tenryu, is there any other way to get to the cargo hold other than the elevator? The only other way is just through that door there. And what about security? The door has no special lock installed because just to enter this room, you need a special key card that only crew members have access to, which means that the culprit is someone who can enter this room, eliminating the passengers and leaving only crew members as potential sub suspects. I can't believe it. Yes, Francisco? Seriously, they sh really should have gave her a voice there. Going on these wild goose chases. I actually got the pet of goose the other day. You're a disgrace to the Von Karma name. And what do you mean by that? The suitcases came from the cargo hold. The fact alone tells you the whole story. Yes, which is why I said the corporate must be a crew member who used the key card. Miles Edgeworth. You're, pr you're proposing that the killer rode the elevator from the cargo hold, correct? Yes, that's the only realistic possibility. That other attendant, Miss Melee. I asked her earlier and she had this to say. Mr. Scoot got information with Miss Melee? In order to make the elevator go down to the cargo hold, a different key card is required. A different one? Yes, and the only person who holds that particular card is you, Miss Rhoda Tenryo. And only you. What? Is this true, Miss Tenryo? Yes. I kept keep that keycard in my locker at all times. 
Could you please show us the card right now? Yes, hold on. Ah! I don't believe it! What's wrong? The key card, it's, it's gone! <laughs> Very clever. Pretending that your card was stolen when in fact you're just trying to hide it from us. You really thought this through. But wait, it's not like that! You can tell us all about what it's like out at the station. Officer, arrest this woman! Yes, ma'am. Mr. Edgeworth! What's wrong? There's disbelief written all over your face. With this guy, I know that you are the lead investigator on this case, however. Hold it, don't even think about wasting any more of my time. You know the rules as well as I do. Evidence speaks louder than words. Even th if this isn't a courtroom, that's that basic tenet still applies. I intend to investigate the cargo hold now. What will you do, Miles Edgeworth? I intend to do likewise. To be continued. Well, things have certainly taken a turn. So, yeah, Every, they seem to be accusing Miss Tenrio. Next time on Eastern Attorney Investigation, Miles Edgeworth, they will investigate the cargo hold.